jungle. The United States Navy is currently deploying the enormous Theodore Roosevelt Aircraft Carrier Strike Group to strategically vital areas off the South China Sea recently. According to a recent service news release, the U.S. Theodore Roosevelt Carrier Strike Group entered the South China Sea on April to conduct routine operations. And as is the second time has entered the South China Sea during its 2021 deployment to United States 7th Fleet Area of Operations. said Rear Admiral Doug Verissimo. We look forward to continuing to sail together with all those that embrace our collective vision of security, even stability in one of the most important regions in the world. Doug Verissimo added, It is great to be back in the South China Sea to reassure our allies and partners that we remain committed to freedom of the seas. Over the course of the strike group's deployment, we have demonstrated our commitment to the rules order by operating with Australia, Japan, India, Malaysia, even South Korea in the Indo-Pacific region. While in the South China Sea, the U.S. strike group will conduct fixed and rotary wing flight operations, including anti-submarine operations, maritime strike exercises, coordinated tactical training, and more. Said Captain Eric Andrews. I could not be more proud of the hard work and professionalism that this crew has shown every day during this deployment. And the USS Theodore Roosevelt's commanding officer also added, our sailors' tenacity and warfighting prowess is unmatched, and is a testament to our Navy's resolve to maintain free and prosperous seas. In this operation involving several ships, that consists of USS Theodore Roosevelt, the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser, USS Bunker Hill, the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer, USS Russell, and also carry it at wing. The surgery was recently carried out in the region directly supports the Chief of Naval Operations Navigation Plan to master all fleet operations. And to enhance collective strength, we exercise with like-minded navies. Seventh Fleet is the American Navy's largest forward deployed fleet and have employs 50 to 70 ships, even submarines across the Western Pacific, including Indian Oceans. And the U.S. Seventh Fleet routinely has operates and also interacts with 35 maritime nations while conducting missions to preserve even protect a free and open Indo-Pacific region.
the United States Strike Group, had exercised with the Indian Navy and Air Force in the Bay of Bengal at the end of March. And according to a 7th Fleet statement on the occasion, the exercise focused on anti-submarine warfare, joint air operations, even command and control integration. The United States' Theodore Roosevelt's return to the South China Sea comes amid growing regional tensions that, if left unchecked, threaten to boil over. Several analysts also continue to be apprehensive about China's coercive posture toward Taiwan by its use of a maritime militia to enforce illegal claims in the South China Sea region, and most recently within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. And media reports also suggest that a Chinese strike group around aircraft carrier Liaoning is now exercising in Taiwan's vicinity. A report quoted a People's Liberation Army Navy statement of saying that the purpose behind this routine exercise is to enhance its capability to safeguard national sovereignty 